Sup guys, Mr. Dianani here, and I'm making the Facebook logo, and, um, sorry, my phone just rang a little, and, uh, what we're doing here is the Facebook logo, so what I did to achieve this round edge is, um, this, make a new picture, I go to filters, render, no, not render, decker, and go to round corners, then I played with the settings and I delete the background number one and then I change the colors so there you go so um, what I did to get this light blue one you know the smaller one is um, I scaled it down to minus 15 so let's say I do this oh no none of that this I scale it and minus 15 again let's say it like that so I'll copy it again and Ah, uh, my phone. I'll turn it off. And uh, so, I'll get again the darker color. Fill it in, and I'll scale it down. Oh uh, crap! There we go. Now we just deplace it. And there you go. Looks a little similar, only this one is more vibrant. And don't worry, we're gonna do something about it. What we're gonna do next is um, gonna put that this light right over here. So what we're gonna do is gonna choose the fuzzy bus, the largest one. Then just use white, and then just brush over it in a new layer. Here now I have this white thing, and what you go is where you go next is to mode and set it to overlay. Now you have this white thing. Now you can still fix it if you want to. And what I did next is yeah, overlay. How stupid of me! And I lower the opacity so it isn't so strong right here. And I think, yeah, I'll just use the blur so it's not too concentrated. I think 50 should be enough. Yeah, 50 is enough. There you go. So what I'm going to do next is that this right here, this, yeah, light here. So what we're going to do is the ellipse select tool. Well, I call it the circle select tool. And, um... Select a little place, color it white. There you go, and make it again in overlay, uh, fifty percent again. There you go, fifty percent. Uh, I think I'll put slower right here. And now I just have to do the F, and I can't really remember the. The font that I used but I'll just try to improvise and what I do is just make a F there and then just make it larger there you go there oh I by the way I just used the text tool just information now what you go what you do next is just put it over it. Oh what the fuck? I can't Oh what the fuck? Oh what the fuck? Oh my goodness. Uh it doesn't matter. Um what we're gonna do next is just select this little piece here and delete. Delete Oh, sorry for that. Was selecting the wrong layer. There, now now I'm selecting the right one. And now we're gonna delete uh, this piece of the F there now we have the Facebook sign and when you want you can change the colors via the hue saturation and I'm gonna make mine a little higher no, wait a second new layer copy visible and paste now <clears throat> oh by the way 
I'll t tell you the difference between copy and copy visible. Um, copy visible will copy everything that is visible. That means it will copy each layer it can see, not each layer layer individually, each layer that it can see. So when I would hide this and make copy visible, it would only copy this and it, let's say I'll do this and press copy it will only copy the selected layer so there you go make a new layer copy visible paste there you go and go to hue saturation and I'll make mine higher 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 and then a little darker Hmm. Too bright, I guess, in my opinion. There. There you go. So, this is the Facebook logo. I'm Mr. Dianani, and see ya.